October 8th. We did finish the 600 acres of beans yesterday. We did end up having six combines going over there. And then last night when we called the farmer to tell him that we were done, he decided that he wanted us to combine three more quarters. So today we pulled four combines over here to these three quarters. One of the combines that was on beans yesterday got pulled to go on our own corn to hopefully get that off because we have a snowstorm coming in on Tuesday night, which would be tomorrow night or Wednesday. So we decided to start getting going on corn and as soon as these combines wrap up, we will end up going to put on a couple more corn heads. So hopefully we can finish everything up before the snow moves in. But that is what we are up to right now. My father-in-law, I do believe, will finish up with corn. Maybe he did yesterday or today he will down in Nebraska. And then he'll be on his way home too. So starting to see the end of 2021 harvest. 50% of the combines today in this field are ran by harvesters. That is Kimberly over there and me over here. And then we got Cole over there and Bob is behind us. So half of us are harvesters. We finished up the soybean harvest today, hopefully for 2021. Uh, Logan finished up the New Miller Brothers corn. And now we're just getting the band ready for their dad's corn. So we're setting up the auger and they're just pulling into the first cornfield of his. It's a pretty sunset. Since we are so close to the bin, we will have the truck just set up here and the cart will actually just come up here and dump it right onto the truck. It's November 9th. I am out here pro-tilling today. I am on the last field of the New Miller Brothers. We pro-till the ground to chop up all of our corn stalks so that will give it a good seed bed in the spring. So I am out here doing that. After this, I will head to their dad's fields, which they are combining on right now. They finished up one. I think they're on their second one right now. So I'll just be chasing combines all day with this to hopefully get this all done before the snow hits and the cold. Because once the ground freezes, we are done with this because you can't get it in the ground. So just trying to beat mother nature again. So. This is what I will be doing all day to hopefully get it all wrapped up. Snow is moving in here soon. Not really ready for it. Up here at the farm, here comes one of the semis with the corn in it up to dump at the bins. I am just up here filling fuel in this and then I will be off to the shop yard to get deaf. And then I gotta run home to grab the kids and then I will be taking off to over east which they just finished combining one of the fields over there. So I just finished pro-tilling the field around the farmyard. So I will be grabbing the kids, taking off over there to pro-till that field. And then the combines have four more fields to go and I will just keep going behind them and hopefully we beat the snow. Got two little ones back there and two back here. I'm not little, I'm giant. Off to the field we go. Hello, it's November 11th. We did get defeated by rain two days ago when I was pro tilling. The boys were combining. They did combine all night. The rain moved in on them around 4. They got shut down by 5.30 with one quarter left of corn to go. And we do have three fields left to pro till, so we are not completely done. Hopefully the snow just moved in today. Hopefully that doesn't stay and it melts off and we can get it all finished up here soon. But today I am in the last crew camper to clean up. It is our 54 foot. Um, it is our biggest camp crew camper to clean up and we do have two bathrooms in here so it's extra fun to clean up. So just wanted to give you a little view of how much stuff the guys leave behind. Like food, bathroom stuff, even their own personal stuff. It's crazy what gets left behind every year and what all we have to clean out. But 
that's what we do. So yes, this is our fourth crew camper to clean up and then winterize it and we will be done with crew campers. The other three are all cleaned up and winterized, so we are getting to the end of our year. I've already got all the bedding done in this one because there was no guys living in here recently. Here's our bathroom. I bring the shop vac in every year to vacuum out all the hair and stuff in the showers and stuff before we start actually washing them. Here is where the disaster starts. I have already hauled four loads to the kitchen slash bathroom. That's all of our bedding out there to wash up. But it is unbelievable, the food and stuff that gets left behind every year. But there's some bathroom stuff that needs to get moved out. I do still have one guy back here that hasn't moved his stuff out. But yeah, this is all the stuff that gets left behind. It's crazy. All the stuff they leave behind. Today is November 12th and I am sitting at the uh, corrals waiting on the trailer to get here. I've got two bulls captured that we've been um, trying to get in for a while. So I got those this morning and uh, we'll get them turned out in the bull pasture for the winter. Um, yesterday was Veterans Day and the kids had a program at school and they did a really good job. Um, I wanna say thank you to all of the veterans, uh, future, past and present. Uh, without what you guys do and the sacrifices that you and your families make, we would not be living in such an amazing country. And I just want to say thank you for your service. Um, we have had a busy week of basketball. Colston has had four games this week. He played Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and will play again on Saturday. So he is worn smooth out. Um, seven o'clock practices and four games in a week. Uh, last night he was supposed to play at seven. They um, were a little behind on their uh, tournament play, and so he didn't even play start playing until 8:10. And we were an hour and a half from the house, so it was a really short night last night. It was about um, around 11:45 when we got in bed last night. So 5:30 uh, comes pretty early. Um, Riggin is off this week. He plays every other Saturday. He had his first game last weekend and he did a really good job. They won one, lost one. They played two games on Saturdays each week that they play. Um, my sister and my nieces were there for that. So he had some uh, special fans in the stands and um, we just enjoyed that uh, the time with them as well over the weekend. Um, so that is kind of what is going on in the life of debauch harvesting right now. Today is November 14th and we are working out at our lease ground. We are going to um, set up some new shoots. Well, not new, but we moved them from the other pasture so we could use the uh, tub and it would be easier to preg check cattle. So we have 68 in this pasture. So we are, won't have to haul all of them to the house. We'll be able to just preg them here and just set up enough nicer setup because it was pretty bad. It worked, but it was not user friendly at all. So we jerked it all down and we're gonna be putting up this other set. now the evening of the 14th and we've got the bigger part of the corral set up um, we've got our working chute right there there's a great big alley that runs into the to tub and there's two sorting pins and they are um, down there at the bottom going to make a really big pin that we can drive in set our bunks make a circle around and then drive back out so that will be amazing um, I wish I would have taken a picture of what this corral looked like beforehand. It is a major improvement for sure. Today is November 16th and we are preg checking cattle today. So I actually am coming over to the farm, the pasture that we made the new corrals in. And I'm going to bring the mamas in for the first time. So hopefully it is going to work as smoothly as we had pictured. So they're ready. 
drive in our fancy new gate. We got my bunk set. I don't have a fancy automatic chute, so I have to get out and open it. Check that out. All of them are coming in. And then I have a nice gate over here that I can just drive right out of. Super windy day and it is 